in this question you have to find the domain and range of this graph so to figure out the domain you need to figure out what x values belong to the graph and if you start on the left hand end at this x at this point here the x value there is 1 uh, minus 1 and because that circle is colored in that means that point is included so starting with from minus 1 and because it's included you'll have a square bracket and then if you travel along the graph up to this point here at any point along that graph you've got x values that are between minus 1 and 1 and the value of 1 is actually included because this dot or this circle's colored in so that means that the set of x values that belong to that part of the graph are from minus 1 to 1 and that's that bit done and then for this part of the graph the x value here is 1 the x value there is 2 and open circles means those two values are not included so you're going to have the union of from 1 to 2 for that next section of the graph so x values from 1 to 2 non-inclusive and then for this section of the graph the x values start at 3 and as you move to the right they head off towards positive infinity and this is included so again union and then include the 3 and then off to infinity and infinity always has a round bracket so the key thing here is that because the 1 is included here but not included here it really means that in the whole graph the x value of 1 does belong to the graph so you can rewrite this whole thing as the interval from minus 1 all the way up to 2 and round bracket on that 2 and then union from 3 to positive infinity and so that's the domain of this graph so all the x values from minus 1 inclusive up to 2 non-inclusive as well as from 3 inclusive up to infinity belong to this graph to figure out the range all you have to do is look at the y values that belong to the graph and again starting at the lowest y value is always a good idea and if you look at this part of the graph that heads off towards negative negative infinity for the y values this only goes down to here but this part here goes to minus infinity so that means the lowest y value on the graph is going to be minus infinity and it heads up if you go the other way from this end of that part of the graph up to here this stops at the value of y equals 2 which is the same value here so that means that's going to go up to 2 and that's included and then these values here actually include this part of the graph so it's really this part that's the important bit to look at you have to check out all the other parts of the graph but that's that first part done which covers both of those two parts of the graph and then the last part here this is supposed to be a horizontal line and the y value anywhere along that line is 3 and so what you're going to have here is union that value of 3 and because that's well that's how you do it when it's just one particular value as it is in this case when it's a horizontal line like that so that's the range and the domain for that example and I'll do another example for you now in this example you have to find the domain and range of f of x and this is the graph of f of x and again it's a hybrid function it's a graph made up of two separate functions so that makes it a hybrid function so finding the domain of f of x first of all and again starting at the left hand end of the graph and if you keep going along this graph it heads off to the left so that means it's approaching minus infinity and then if you travel along that way it stops at the value 1 and because that's an or a colored in circle that's included so that that's not included and it's going to be union and on this section of the graph it starts at 1 but it's not included so we'll put that in not included and then 
the x values head off and again this heads off towards positive infinity in the opposite direction to the other arrow down here uh, not included and then again because this value of 1 is included here but not included here what that means is that the value of 1 does belong to the graph it's somewhere on the graph and it's actually here so that means you can write that domain as from minus infinity to infinity which means that all real values or all real numbers are possible values for x on this graph and so this is the answer that you would give for that one the range again looking at your lowest y value and this heads off towards negative infinity as does this end here so minus infinity and then looking at the biggest y value on the graph the highest value you're looking for which is this one here which has a value of 4 and that's included because that's part of the graph there's no open circle there so that's included and that's the range for this graph so even though there's a big gap here the y values in between 0 and 2 are included over here and over here on the graph as well so that's how you do the domain and range of hybrid functions like the as in these two examples so that's about it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one